Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. Folks, it's a sunny day here and our topic is standing or sitting right behind me. Today I want to specifically talk to you guys that are homesteaders, you guys that are ranchers, and especially you guys that are you you guys and gals that are farmers as well. I've got a treat for you. You hang around and I'm gonna show you something that is really, really smart. And something that I believe could be used in so many places and things that you do every day. I'm talking about an RTV. This one here, I wanna introduce it to you. It's a 2019 X1140 Cabolta diesel. Now my son is going to show you and he's going to, we're going to give you a complete review and a complete walk around analysis of this beautiful RTV. I'm excited. I get excited talking about stuff like this because it's something that I love. I love doing it. We're going to start right here and we're going to go around this beautiful vehicle. I want to start off by saying that this is a 2019. So it's been used about two years, but you can't hardly tell it. First of all, I want to tell you that it has a three cylinder diesel engine. It's about 24.8 horsepower. So let's start right here. Is that all right with you? I'm excited. Right here at the front. This thing I want to say to you, first of all, that it's made for work and it's not made for speed. It'll only top speed, only top out about 25 or 30 miles an hour. So it doesn't doesn't go fast but it's built with all hydraulic stuff and it's a diesel so it's all basically all hydraulic the hydraulics is where it gets a lot of its power so let's start with it right here notice these big tires I believe they're 12 inch tires it's got the original tires on it by the way and I'm going to tell you, it's four-wheel drive. It has a variable hydraulic hyd automatic transmission made for power. Now notice this here. These big, big headlights. This thing is about 20, I want to say it's about 24 feet long from bumper to bumper. I believe that's what it is. Now notice this, let me show you something here. You can pop that up like that and look inside. Here's your radiator. Here is your air filter. Here is all of your liquids, your fluids. And it's just beautiful. Now this bumper to show you what power this has got, the bumper bent and it didn't break on impact. And I don't remember what was hit with it, but it can take a licking and keep right on ticking. That's how big and powerful this thing is. It's going around these headlights. I love that beautiful orange color, don't you? Look at those headlights, impressive. Oh yes, and this thing, is total power steering. Now we're going to do the highlights. Like I've said in other videos, it is not going to be possible to do every feature on this truck. Impossible because it would take too long. So we're going to hit the highlights, okay? Notice this, going around, tons of room in here. These seats are about six inches foam thick, padded seats 
for comfort. This is a work vehicle. It's made to work with. It's made to haul the big load. It'll tug, it'll pull, it'll haul just about anything that you can imagine. Now notice this, I'm going on around. And I also want to emphasize, I say to you that this has got the dump bed. I'm going to show you how it dumps. Back here. Let's look at this. Now, he's got some stuff in the back of this because it's a work truck. You haul stuff. You leave stuff in there. It's not made for show. It's not made for luxury. It's made for hauling, towing, pulling, dumping. That's what it's made for. Now, notice back here. My son's going to show you this engine on this thing at a very low angle. And just, just take a look back here. This thing is a three-cylinder diesel engine. I think it's got about a 28 horsepower, 25, 28 horsepower. I forgot. Hey, I'm here when I forget some of that stuff. But it's powerful. It's powered by hydraulics. I'm gonna let you hear it run in just a few minutes. Let's move on around here. Right on around here and I'm gonna show you this dump bed. Let me start this engine, listen to this. That's a diesel. Diesel engine is known for its power. It's got a whole lot more power than a gas-powered engine has got. Yet it's still fire. Let me show you this thing. Right here, dumping. I'm obviously not going to go all the way and dump that because I don't want to do that. But you get the point. Take a look at this. Here we go. Isn't that neat? Wow. You don't have to unload it with hands. You can take and just dump it out. Like I said, this is designed for hauling. And this bed, let me let me show you the size of this bed. I believe it's like, and it's got the coating inside of it, so it's not ever gonna rust. It's got that coating in there to prevent that. I believe it's about, I wanna say five by five, the dump bed is. You can haul firewood on this, oh my God, and just dump it out. Oh my God, I wish I owned one of these. I love cutting firewood and you can dump it up here, put it in here. You could put some uh, some sticks in this bed and, and take that thing up if you wanted to, another three foot and haul a cord of firewood. Now, I think probably this thing weighs about a ton in weight. I think it weighs about a ton. And this bed has got a 1600 pound capacity it but Lord with the size of this thing as strong as it is you can lock it in let me show you I want to show you this feature right here you can lock this thing in four-wheel drive you can easily take it out into two-wheel drive with just a pull of that knob and I'm going to tell you when you lock that four-wheel drive in there this thing will go places with you that will shock you and surprise you because it's got that kind of power. Now, let me focus on one other thing here. We've started it and we've showed you and we've let you hear it run. We've showed you some of the best features that this thing has got. Take a look at this. When you get in this thing, it's got the vinyl top on it. You can work in the rain. Now the windshield here is open. Look at this feature. This one should, it's got a unique mirror on it. Take a look at that. A mirror. As you, as you can see what you're doing in the back back there. This thing is built solid. 
let me tell you something. If you are a rancher, you're a farmer, you are a homesteader and you don't have something like this, oh, you need to move up and step up and invest in this thing. You buy this thing and I guarantee you, you buy this thing one time in your lifetime because it's that sturdy. It's built to last. It's built to last. You know what? With just a small amount of features that I've shown you. Let me get back out of this. It's so easy to get out of. I'm giving this thing five stars because it is quality from end to end. It's powerful hydraulics. It virtually just operates by the push of a button. Everything is hydraulic. Power steering, everything is hydraulic. And that's where the power comes in. I guarantee you could put a ton in that bed back there and it would haul it without any, without the slightest bit of strain. That's how powerful it is. And you know what else? You can go to places that you can't even get a truck. I mean, this is a, it's like a truck within a truck. I mean, you can take this in places where you're, probably your truck will not go. And you can go and you can get out and you can get your load and you can really, really, really be happy about the performance. My final analysis of this truck, I gave it five stars because it's, it deserves it. And let me tell you, it's that, that powerful. My final analysis of it is solid. It's a workhorse. It's quality. That's my final analysis of this vehicle. So listen. Send me your comments. Listen, I love reading your comments. So many of you, you send me comments all the time, and you make my day. Reading your comments actually makes my day. So send me your comments in the box below, and I would love to read them, and I will respond back to them. And if you like this, give us a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. And as always, you have a blessed day.